A federal provincial political feud has erupted over new freedoms granted to the Manitoba man responsible for a gruesome murder on a Greyhound bus. Vince Lee, who is schizophrenic, will now be allowed unescorted passes from a mental health centre. It's a decision Manitoba's senior federal cabinet minister wants the province to appeal. But Manitoba says it's not up to them. And as Shirley Engel reports, it leaves the victim's family caught in the middle of an emotional issue. Time has done little to dull Carol Dedelli's pain over the loss of her son, Tim McLean. I'm still horrified and, and disappointed and uh, disheartened by it all, but it is what I've been telling people for five and a half years was going to be happening. Vince Lee, the mentally ill man who beheaded and cannibalized her son aboard a Greyhound bus in Manitoba, will be allowed to leave his mental hospital without an escort. Fundamentally, I don't think he should have that right. I don't think that I should have to worry about it. I don't think that I should have to be looking over my shoulder or wondering. Conservative Minister Shelley Glover, who represents Winnipeg, calls it an insult to the family and other law-abiding Manitobans. So I am imploring uh, that the minister in Manitoba, Minister Andrew Swan, appeal this decision. An emotionally charged issue led to a politically charged spat. For two years now, we've sent, the Attorney General sent letters to the uh, federal minister asking that public safety be the paramount concern when dealing with, with these kind of matters, and they've ignored it. It still hasn't passed in the law. Federal legislation to toughen laws for those found not criminally responsible is currently before the Senate. Meanwhile, a psychiatrist said Lee has stopped experiencing delusions and is a model nonviolent patient. A not criminally responsible patient is in fact a patient, not a criminal. Chris Somerville of the Schizophrenia Society speaks with Lee regularly. He thinks about it daily too, because he committed that crime. He did this horrible, brutal killing, and he has great remorse over it. The community has mixed feelings about Lee being out in public by himself for the first time. I think it's ridiculous, actually. Um, he's nuts. If he's rehabilitated, then you know I trust the doctors to make that call. They know that they're putting a town potentially at risk with somebody like that. Lee's unescorted visits begin in the town of Selkirk next Thursday, starting at 30 minutes, and will increase to full days. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.